Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in once again and randomizing our character, seeing who we might get. I do have it set so the uh, modded characters do show up a bit more often, but if we end up getting unlucky and not getting them that much, then I will play them. I'll just pick them because I want to play the modded characters a little bit more. But this time we're jumping in as regular Judas, which scares me a lot just because um, we have very low health. One thing I will just say, um, real quick, is I've recently moved... I don't know why I used that there. I just saw a champion and crap myself. Um, I've recently moved Isaac to my SSD, which I'm hoping might help with lag. It might not, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, it messed with my sound. Oh, what the hell's this little dude? Excuse me. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Bye then. Betrayal not very good, but the items in there were pretty nice. Okay, that's it. I don't know if that's a Fiend Folia enemy or one of the other enemies I recently installed, because they installed a, a pack which added some back in. But yeah, um, it kind of messed with my audio settings in Isaac a little bit. So the game may be too loud, than it, like, might be louder than it normally is. Please do let me know if that's the case. Uh, I'm not sure... If you guys will be able to tell the difference, if it's a major issue, if it is, please, please let me know and I will try and sort it out. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet and I can adjust it accordingly. But I think I managed to get it back to very similar settings at least, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So yeah, feedback would be helpful. But for the question of the day today, um, where are you planning to go on your next holiday and why? And even if that's just like a holiday to somewhere else in the country to see family or something like that, where would that be? be really interesting to know just because i've got my uh holiday to greece coming up in just over a month and i'm very hyped up for it um no thank you i did kind of want that honey coin but now i can't get it um yeah i'm very hyped up for it i'm very ready for it i'm really excited it's my first me, me and my girlfriend's first like holiday away with just us two um, we have been on one of the holiday before and we've been on a few around the UK, but first proper holiday we've been on. So it's really exciting. Considering we've been together like eight and a half years, it's kind of unbelievable that it's taken us this long. It really is. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's going to be good. I probably shouldn't have used that there, to be honest. If I get help up out of it, though, I'll be very, very happy. But yeah, like the music sounds like it's a little bit louder to me, but I can't quite tell. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Right. Anyways, on our way we go. Is it worth checking the shop out? I think it might be. King Baby plus a Soul Heart. Might be able to get one penny from this dude. Or two spiders. Oh no, we got one penny there. Hazard, hazard. Okay, this has put our health in a way, way, way better situation. And we can also bomb this for secret room because I'm almost certain it's here. Um, and what do we get here? We get some puzzle pieces and um, some mushrooms. Kind of a weird... Th okay, I was just about to say, kind of a weird room, really, because we don't get to pick which puzzle piece we get. But um, it did give us a key in the end. So we grab puzzle piece one and we get a pet. Uh, let's go for that as well. Why not? Hey, I'm actually really happy with that as a trinket. Obviously, Suicide King ain't exactly our style right now. Uh, we don't have any way to actually utilize that, so we're not going to bother. Ooh, I just realized I can actually get that penny if I wanted it. Um, there's a way around. But yeah, specifically like boss music and stuff sounds a little loud. Let me try and just tweak it just a tiny little bit. I realize the uh, visuals are a little fucked up for you guys right now. I apologize. Hopefully that's a little better. I turned it down a, a smidgen. A tiny little smidgen. It might not make much of a difference. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it back to the levels it was at because I don't know what levels it was at before. Oh, that was a really bad hit. Then again, little plum, baby plum on this room. Not the easiest of, um, not the easiest of furs, in my opinion. But yeah, I had to relocate my mods and everything, so I'm hoping all my mods work as they should, but I'm not honestly 100% sure of that. Um, we do have a new mod, as you can probably see here. Um, this here is the coin flip version of going down to the next floor. So, this basically randomizes which floor we go to. Now, you may have just noticed that it didn't actually cost us a key to get down to the downpour, which is one advantage of using this, but now we actually have a randomized choice of where we go, which I think is going to be more fun for Fiend Folio, just being able to randomize it rather than us picking, uh, depending on the run, because, yeah, it'll just, it'll change things up a bit, it'll shake things up, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, you guys are actually going to fire each other, are you? No, not really. Okay. We do get Bookworm here, hopefully. So I'm going to go in here first. 
Um, and honestly, let's take the Satanic Bible. Why not? It's pretty darn good. We get Bookworm and the Blackout. I've used the Satanic Bible on this floor as well, just to try and preserve our Devil Deal chance. Um, because I think we're going to go Devil Deal here. I'm not sure what this eye does, by the way. Oh, it seems to... It, it's, oh, it takes in... It takes in and redirects enemy shots towards us. That's a pretty cool enemy design. Kind of absorbs them and then reuses them. Damn it. Go away, ghosty. These ghosts are really, really annoying. They move around a lot. Kind of need good damage to take care of them. God damn, I'm loving the music on this floor. And that thunder with it as well. So good. So atmospheric. It's kind of crazy how much things like changing the rocks and changing the music affect the feel of the game. It's, it's an impressive amount, really. Buckethead has quite a lot of resistance. Okay. Probably going to be some more enemies in here, right? Yep, there you go. That's really cool. They can come up from the buckets. I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay. We get the slipped rib... Or random. Let's go for random. And we get Slippy's Heart, which I, I genuinely have no idea what that does. I guess we'll find out. Uh, secret room, I think we're looking at here. We are indeed. Good, good. Haunted Chisk could give us an item. Death certificate. Oh, we, we kind of like... We kind of like glowed red for a little bit when we walked into the room there. I'm not quite sure what was the cause of that. Um, This is probably second... There you go. Oh, something weird is going on with my buddy, by the way. Watch when I en uh, enter a new room. It does like a little puff effect. It's like he spawns each time I come in. Wait. Where did I get this dude from? Oh, he's from Monster Manuel. Maybe that's why. Okay, so I, I farted there. I'm guessing that's something to do with the slippy item we got. I'm going to guess. Is this Swarm Protector? I can't remember what the item this is. All of the angel angels kind of meld into one for me, I'll be honest. Okay. So, Brother Bobby, obviously not that good. We'll check out a Devil Deal, though. And we get plus three Immortal Hearts. Why not? Yeah, take that. And then, yeah, coin flips again. And we go to Flooded Caves this time. So, yeah, I don't really know how this is going to work, but I'm interested. Like, one thing I'm a little curious about is um, if we want to go and beat Mother, how that's going to work. I'm guessing you don't have to take that trap door. I'm not really sure, I'll be honest. I'm not really sure. It's a mod that we might not end up keeping on. I just thought it was worth testing. So far, I'm, I think it's pretty cool. So far, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so Slippy's heart, whatever, just seems to do random different fart effects and stuff, which is kind of nice. Seems to be when we, when we get near an enemy. So staying near enemies is actually of quite a big use to us. Okay, don't go over those. We've had problems with that before. If I stand, like, here... Yeah. Okay, so we're not always going to do damaging farts. But we are going to get some farts out there regardless. I think that's going to be pretty useful. Especially when they're poison. I like the idea. I like the idea. Okay, electric boys. I can never really remember what these guys do. Something kind of scary, I bet. Dead onions, decent here. I love the way the rocks look on this floor. We don't have great shot speed, but we have a little bit extra, so it's not as big of a downer. But obviously, piercing is great. I think the range down is really the big thing. Oh, I forget this gives you spectral as well. Damn, this item's really good. Like, the negatives are so, like, I don't know. They're not huge negatives, but they feel quite impactful. It's like, it impacts two of the stats where you don't care about those stats at all unless they're already low. Then you care about it a lot. If you lose that them stats when they're already low, then it becomes... A major issue. I mean, shot speed, not so much, but definitely range. I think anytime you go below five range, you feel, like, quite muted. We're going to carry on popping the uh, Satanic Bible, by the way. We do have froggies here. I, I don't remember exactly what the froggies do. I think it's just that. 
which is not particularly hard to dodge, but not easy either. You've got to kind of keep your distance from them. They do like a split shot. I love the noise they make when they fire. So let's take out you. You shouldn't be too hard. So do we want to actually gamble and try and fart? I don't know if it's something we want to try and take advantage of or if it's just going to be sort of a happy little accident when it does happen. Because we have to be quite close. And for a decent amount of time as well. I think we're going to use it as more of a happy little accident than active, especially on bosses. There you go, that was useful. Get a bit of poison. And poison lasts a decent amount of time on bosses too. Okay, we get Vengeful Spirit here, which isn't particularly good. Um, I just want to test something real quick. Caves there. If I go in here... So this is randomized to mines. But that does actually take us to the mines. I'm slightly confused, I'll be honest. I'm slightly confused. I'm not exactly sure how this works. I mean, to be fair, I think it does have settings, so we could maybe take a look at the settings and see how that works. Um, let's have a little look-see. Double tap familiars is something I need to... Um, enabled. Um, enabled. Enabled. Okay, cool. And then, where is it? Might not be in here. Penetration up, uh, hallway greed, double tap familiars. It's got like randomized floors or something like that. I'm not seeing it so far. Reworked, enhanced, double tap, hallway, heaven's call. I don't think I see it, so it might be in here. Coin flip, there it is. Settings. Okay, enabled true. Text and colors show floor, uh, chapter number hidden, visuals coin flip, reroll where, keep path separate, allow duplicates, allow corpse, turbulent mode, take me for a ride. Okay, let's leave it as that for now. It might be impossible to go to mother with the way it's set up right now, but I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't be the case. Ooh, hello. Um, see if we can afford that anyway. By the way, for any of you that don't know, um, I don't use my donation machine. I gave that up a long time ago. It was an addiction. It had become part of me. Um, and I uh, I decided it was, it was of, of my best interest to hand in the towel of the donation machine. So I just don't fill it anymore. And that, that way I have no temptation to use it. Because I was, I was just using it way too much. It was becoming a bit of a crutch on every run. Um, and it, I don't know. It just... It meant that I had to play... I, like, I didn't have to play as safely. I didn't have to, like, fish for money. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that's really cool. They, they did this run just to show that off, didn't they? Okay, so we'll definitely get Champion Belt here. I also do see that Tinted Rock up there. I realise as many of them I will miss, but... That one I got, at least. Okay, so this guy we can, like, destroy the skull off of, which is kind of interesting. Didn't end up farting there. Got ourselves some charges. Uh, we might as well go and check what's at least in here, because we might want to do it for the charges. Yep, I think we will. And it was very worthwhile. Get a good few bombs, some money, and a heart out of it. Ooh, this enemy's got a really cool attack. Whoa, what the hell are these guys? Are these guys that grow? Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, damn. Wasn't expecting the uh, piercing shot to come out there like that. Music in these is tense. Whoa, they're a bit different now. Let me just let me just see that. Whoa. That's a new bit of an attack pattern for those guys. That's pretty cool. I wonder when that got added. That's really cool. I think that's part of our improved Monsters and Furs thing, because that is very cool. Right, one second. Let's keep her going. Right, we can exit out of this floor now and go to wherever. So I guess we go mines. So maybe maybe if you want to go the alt path, it, like if you take the alt path floors, it always takes you to the alt path. I don't know. 
It's hard to figure out. Ooh, we should really look for secret room while we're here, actually. Um, I think I know. I think I know it to be true. I think I know it to be just to the left of this room. Oh, there's a tinted rock here as well. Didn't even see that. I missed it, unfortunately, but we got our bombs back regardless. Ace of Wands, Ace of Diamonds, turns all pickups, chests, and non-boss enemies into batteries. Batteries spawned this way disappear after a short time. Okay, so we've got to use it on like a small bundle grouping of enemies, but that seems real good. <laughs> oh, champion belt, champion belt. We forgot to buy a champion belt. Oh, I bet some of you there were, were anxiously like, Hey, turtle, I almost died inside when I saw this. Ugh. This would have ruined my entire day. I always find it funny when people comment stuff like that. <laughs> I get that sometimes it's frustrating when a YouTuber does something wrong. I mean, I get frustrated sometimes too. Some people are like, oh my god, I almost died when he didn't do this. And it's like, did you? Or did you just get mildly annoyed and then forget about it after five seconds? <laughs> Let's keep her going. We are in the mines now, so we'll see how this works after this. We need some fire rate ups. We got we got the damage going good. We got piercing. We got spectral. It's just fire rate we're missing, really. But I think um, Bookworm's kind of uh, supplementing that a little bit. Whoa! What the hell's this dude? What the hell was that little guy? He had little bombs. He's had a little uh, a little army helmet on. He's got some C4 scrapped rocks in the room. Look at these dudes. They look kind of like the Mars item does. That's really cool. They're interesting. Okay, so this room seems... Ah, okay. This is another one of these rooms. With these little dudes in it. Are these new, maybe? It's cool, though. Nice, nice. So, we got your listen. I think we should probably take your listen, to be honest. Oh, there was a new item there, though. Damn. Just because there's, um, we've got so much, so many bombs right now. I think your listen makes sense. Are you, you, you look like you're on a mission. Normally, you can tell when it's going somewhere, because it's just beaming. There we go. Thank you, little lovely. Ooh. This, by the way, this, this right here is one of my favorite trinkets I've ever seen, but it's so dumb. <laughs> Activates item. Active items are triggered four to six times, but have a half chance to disappear on you. So obviously we don't want to use it with this, but like, I imagine that could be such a fun thing to get, especially if you're finding a lot of actives. Getting a lot of fool's gold rocks here. Damn, a lot of fool's gold rocks. Holy shit. I've got the mod that makes it so more fool's gold rocks appear as, appears on the mines, but that might be a bit too many. <laughs> That's so many, holy. It's a cool little addition and more of a reason to go to this floor if you're not doing the mother fight. More of these dudes, hello. This is an XL floor apparently as well. Oh, we got some sort of disc here. What's this? 25% chance to spawn a coin, 25% chance... 25% chance to spawn a card or pill, a variety of effects based on the current room and exploration. Sounds really interesting, I'm gonna take it. Ooh, uh, actually, actually, now I have an idea. <laughs> Give me that battery. We'll see how long it lasts. It's gone. <laughs> We got shot speed down, are you kidding me? That's pretty funny. <laughs> it lasted exactly one use. Right. Need to find the shop now. Unfortunately, yeah, this is this is a bit rude. I might have to disable that mod. Like, getting some extra coinage, pretty good. But this is like, every single room has like four fool's gold rocks in it. It's kind of insane. This room just has the hourglass in it. Okay. What the hell? Was that meant to happen? That dude like flew off the screen. <laughs> I don't think that was meant to happen. We don't need to use that Ace of Wands yet. I've just got it there if we need it. 
I love these enemies. These enemies are so cool. Especially like when they're used in rooms like this. Like a, a fit for purpose room for them. So cool. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. I just accidentally used my active while holding this fucking trinket. Oh my god, I shat myself. I was like, why the fuck am I at full health? I used it once and I was like, uh, whoops. <laughs> that was close. What a cool trinket though. It's such a niche one that I feel will be rarely used, but I just love the idea of it. Anything that doubles or triples or whatever the amount of time you use your active, I always find really interesting. And that can lead to some really cool, uh, really cool stuff. Because isn't this the minor all stats up? Yeah, it is. Not bad, not bad. It also gives gives us a, a meat helmet. Forty eight hour energy is rather nice. We're taking pills now. We've, we've committed. I want a shot speed up. Ooh, some other, some more new guys here. Ooh, whoa. Okay, you're cool. What do you do? You do lasers, tech lasers. Nice. One thing I'm noticing right now is the distinct lack of fiend folio enemies on this floor. Am I just getting unlucky or what's going on here? Have I seen any fiend folio enemies on this floor thus far? Hmm. I'm not sure, but I need to keep an eye on that. Because so far, I don't think I've seen any. Like, I've seen those little minor dudes, but I'm pretty sure they're from another mod. And those eye dudes are definitely from another mod. Ooh, key piece here. Uh, not key piece, puzzle piece even. A pet will take. It's going to be nine lives, isn't it? We can double fart on him, nice. Hmm, that seems to be a weird bug. Like, we got all the Fiend Folio rocks and stuff, and we've seen them on previous floors. See, like, I don't know, is that a Fiend Folio enemy? It looks like it is, but I don't know. Hmm. Have to investigate. We've only got a few more rooms left, I bet. Because these guys aren't fiend folio enemies either. I like the, the the meat wheels when they're all charmed going into each other. That's pretty funny. These guys aren't either. There's something fishy going on. What the hell happened? Ow. These guys aren't e Oh, no, no, that, that dude was... That dude was... Okay. Okay, maybe I just got really unlucky for this floor. These guys are really cool. Oh, that's so cool. Holy shit, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That attack pattern is rad. Jupiter. No, thank you, but I will smash you. That did not give me enough of enough a reward for the risk that I'm taking here. But we did get range up there, that's good. Take a power pill. What in the shit did you just do to me? That's a lot of keys, my dude. That's a lot of keys. That's a really cool attack, but goddamn, it's a bit dangerous. This attack here... I, re I do remember this boss now. This attack here, I remember that one being really hard. Okay, we've, out we've just about got him. He spawned some gelatinous cubes on me. We got him. Right. Let's skedaddle skedoodle. So maybe I just got unlucky with this floor. Which isn't a problem. I, I like getting a good mix of other enemies as well. And vanilla enemies too. But normally you see a lot of Finfolio stuff. 
Maybe there just is less fiend folia enemies on the mines. Maybe that's why. Don't need the full health there. See, like, this is ridiculous. Got a room that has infinite bombs and just all these full gold rocks. It just seems a bit insane to me. Damn it, I just keep missing. That's a bit better. That's a much, much better result there. Just keep, like, rapidly farting on these guys. Okay, there you go. Taken care of, we get Little Lamb. Let's try Little Lamb here, he seems interesting. And we get Reap Creep. This little Lamb seems like it could be pretty good, especially if it destroys walls. Renewable explosives. Love the music here. It's so good. How much damage is it doing? It's doing a good amount of damage too. It's a little hard to hit. We're hit we're getting we're doing pretty well with it, I think. Ow. Oh, he's there. Uh, he's like dropped look. And Jello. So one thing I just want to try here. So I'm just going to open that door. I'm going to go back and collect some health because I know we have some about. Um, I just want to see if opening that door still leads to the mausoleum. Because if it doesn't, that is a bit BS. Just because you're paying health to get in. I don't want to pay health to get into a room and then it leads somewhere else. You know what I mean? So I feel like that. I feel like the mausoleum door at least should be fixed. I just want to figure out where it lies. Yeah, let's just see if this guy can destroy rocks, shall we? He can. Okay, this guy is great. <laughs> this guy is top quality. Thank you, sir. Thank you again. And again. And again. Oh ho! This is good shit, right. I even there's so many fool's gold rocks in this room. I don't know what the chances are of getting a fool's gold rock with this mod, but it seems extremely high. <laughs> it's like one in ten rocks that spawn. Maybe 1 in 20, but still, it's still too high. Anyways, yeah. So, this is going to lead to Gehenna. I don't... I don't know if I like that. Mausoleum. So, that still goes to Mausoleum. I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about get, being able to get to the floors without paying the toll to get there. Like, if I go down to this floor now, it's not going to take two soul hearts away from me, is it? No, it's not. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, settings. Disable if you can re-roll out of the alt path. Okay, so... I don't know how to... I don't know the best way to work this. Keep path separate. I don't know. Let's just keep it as everywhere for now and we'll see. I just, yeah, like, I feel like if you get taken to the alt path, it should cost you the alt path's cost. Okay, so when I get hurt, this guy breaks free and he does his own thing. Okay, him doing his own thing is pretty good. It's a little dangerous, but it's pretty good. There's some more of these dudes about. Some of whatever these are. Holy shit. What are you trying to do, sir? Are these guys trying to revive each other? I'm not sure. Okay, hell isn't looking too hot right now. We might want to use our battery item when we can. We just need to find a, bi a big old grouping of enemies, such as this. 
Okay, that didn't really work. <laughs> I still got two uses out of it. But I forgot to use the activators I was running into the battery, so I only used a few of them. Ooh, what are these? Oh, we got like little dudes. Oh, they're like lit. Whoa, that's cool. They're, like little traps. And then when we get near them, they dash towards us. And we got like little assassins about as well. Oh, assassin. Where are you? I think he's gone. Whoa, look at these dudes. Curse of Rebirth on Fiendfolio rooms is scary. Very scary indeed. Also, these saw blades. I've not been to Gehenna much with Fiendfolio before. There's a lot of new for me here. A lot of new. I don't know, but yeah, you guys can... Well, it'd be really good if you guys let me know what you guys think of... Um, of some of these additions. Dude, these rooms, these these enemies are way too common right now. What the hell's going on with them? I've been in like so many rooms. Maybe that's why I'm seeing like very little fiend folio stuff. Because these things just have insane weight, maybe. Yeah, let me know what you think of the path randomizer. Ow. Libra is not really my style here. Not very good either, actually. Gotta be careful of this dude. I don't know how I charmed all these guys and like kept them, but I'll keep it, I guess. I think I can't. I think I charmed the portal and the portal gave me them. Whoa, look at that dude. He's like a, a daddy cultist. Okay, that was tricky. That was tricky. Wait, that is fill. Okay, that's filigree feather. That's a little bit better than I, th I thought it was. Um, thought it was the evil feather, whatever that one's called, black feather. Filigree feather is really good, but we don't really have any use for angel deals right now. What on earth is that thing? Take care of the enemies we know for now. He's got some sort of hook. He got me with a hook. He got me with a hook. That's so cool. Ow. Little lamb, you are good, but goddamn. I'm hurting myself a lot with your presence. Okay, this guy does fire explosives, you've got to be careful of that. Gave us Midas Touch, we finally get a puzzle as well. We got Goat Head. What? Might be a little bit too late for that, but that's still really good. Um, I guess we'll take this. It's not really a, that of that much use to us, but there you go. Whoa, that dude hit me straight away. Oh damn, he exploded into this. That was confusing. Did it? Did that enemy in the middle make all enemies reform? I'm not sure. Tough love. We don't have much luck, so tough love isn't great. We got this. Um, count with your tears for an increase in damage in tears. Counting counts as firing X amount of tears and stopping. Uh, that sounds good, but a lot of brain power was is required for that. Of which I do not have. Dad's mallet is also pretty good, but we've already got the ability to destroy rocks. Tech Zero. Eh, Tech Zero is actually pretty good, because we've got uh, piercing. Little Dumpy would have also been really good. Yeah, with piercing, this is pretty good. So, another one of these dudes. Yeah, with piercing, this thing's pretty damn good. I'm definitely going to hit myself on, uh, on my little lamb quite a lot, I think. At least he does good damage. He's fairly easy to aim as well, like I said. Okay, so we've got our boss now. Still haven't seen any new bosses on these floors yet, like at all, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, the mask is dead. We are going to utilize the mask for... Holy, I was not expecting that. 
Okay, good. Tears leave oil creep on impact, walking over will ignite it. Let's at least check this first. But I'm a little confused. That's really good. I'm a little confused here, because doesn't this have to take us to Mausoleum or Gehenna? Yeah. So that doesn't work. <laughs> we can't go mother now. Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> so we're going to have to set it so that it's stay on alt path. But then that, that means the mod isn't really doing anything at that point, but that doesn't really work. Anyways, let's let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Ow. I like our Midas Touch look we got going on. Why did I take a shot speed down? Did I really need a shot speed down? Damn, I'm taking a lot of damage. And I keep on doing it. How are you not dead yet? I realize I'm shooting you while you're down, but the piercing should kill you by now. I won't give up. There you go. Infested, infested, and I'm excited. Oh my god, so good. We might have a death in store for us here because I'm playing like poo poo. I think little lamb is the is the main cause of my damage though. Like I'm not being, it's not it's not like I've been exclusively hit by him, but he's just making me nervous about my positioning. I'm constantly worrying. <laughs> I could tap shoot until I need him, I guess. That'd be a little safer. We do have very good damage now, which is really nice. Oh, that was a bad hit. At least we've got all black hearts, so we're doing really good damage when we get hit. Everything's just dying. Got another secret room here, though. I love all these screws and stuff that we have in the sacred, uh, the scarred room. It's like it's it, it's literally like the womb has been sort of gone, undergone surgery or something. Because I already had all these like little staples and stuff in the wall. I, why can't I hurt this guy? Okay, we got him. We don't really need any bombs anymore. We got plenty. Oh, dude. I didn't think he could do that. Damn. Okay, health is real bad now. Yeah, I'm having to tap fire because I can't risk getting hit again. Where we go? Conquest, doesn't this guy... I'm pretty sure this guy is different now. He's got some new attacks. Yeah, there you go. Look, he can get off his horse. And do laser beams. Oh my god, that do a lot of damage. Holy. Say no to sulfur. And now we go to corpse. This is confusing. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but for some reason it wasn't this. What hit me then? Did I just walk into one of those maggots? I probably did, didn't I? Whoa, I do not know what that thing in the middle does, but I'm scared. Okay. So I guess sometimes we'll just randomly do mother without paying the toll or getting the keys. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know, maybe, should I keep it like that? I really don't know what to do. It's it's really up to you guys, I think, at the end of the day. I think we're about to die, so this run doesn't really mean much for this. But maybe we just leave it like that? I think we are one hit away from death right now. We were, and I walked right into a shot. Anyways, that was a pretty fun run nonetheless. We got some interesting stuff in there, some cool new items. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.